And coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. For this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, presenting the challenger, the giant. And now he's the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, do not fail. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan seemed pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Dig and kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Trying to establish that jab once again. And they separate. Big head kick land. Checks the leg kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. And they separate. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, single collar tie here. Just missed with the leg kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nermago Meta. Nice job of hiding that head kick. 26 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nermago Meta. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And 
That left hook landed on the button. Went for the inside leg kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice kick. Oh, big head kick. Beautiful strike. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. So you're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Left hand punch the clinch. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just out of range with the big right hand. And they separate. Nice kick. Man, how good is his right hook counter? You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big call from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Try to establish that jab. Oh, eats a knee to the head. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, nice. Oh. And what a round. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, big elbow. Beautiful punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Mago Medoff. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing this skill every single day. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Pretty good right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big kick land. 
just over three minutes to go. Big leg kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pot. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Look at him working at trying to set the liver down. Ooh, blocks the shot. Keep the pressure on him. You're doing great here. A little single collar tie there. It's messed up really bad. Big kick. Nice. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Good stick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. So 89 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, in terms of the accuracy rate, not great. 38% thus far against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big kick land. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Right on the button. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Ooh, head kick land. Hurt. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into the corner. All right, single collar tie now. Nurmagomedov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Big knee to the body. Man alive! What a round. All right, well, that's the end of the round. So the location is okay. The cut on the cheek, but... That is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, go, guys, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not in her, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Nermago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Knee to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Punch over the top. Real quick leg kick. Another clinch position. All right, 
right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, he hurt a bad with the jab. Oh, and he caught the kick. Over under hooks here. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Nurmagomedov. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Man. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get it. Back to the feet. And there comes the separation now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Single collar tie now. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then try to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. What oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say if try, try again? If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured it. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Now he falls back into the finishing position. in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Ebola Nurmagomedov. All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proving he's the elite among the elite. Of in a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a fighter he